Welcome back everyone. If you're watching this video, that means that you have watched last week's recording because if you missed last week's live and then also as well, didn't, didn't watch last week's recording, then you're going to be a little confused on this. So go back and watch that also too. Make sure you go through the website and make sure that you understand how to open your demo account. Excuse me. How to open your demo account as well as how to place a trade. That's going to be very important. So yes, I will be posting trade ideas in the group from time to time. But remember, the whole purpose of this group is to actually get you to learn how to make some money by knowing how to trade in this Forex market. All right. So I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to as well, because remember, this is free mentorship for the next couple of weeks. So I'm not going to be able to walk you hand by hand with everything. So that's why I'm providing you with the tools, providing you with the training, as well as I do answer questions um, also. But I need you all as well to also show initiative and for certain questions, especially if it's a question that's already covered in the training or if it's a question that I've um, asked before, just do a little research on it, do a little research on it. And then when you're ready and you actually understand a few more things on how to place trades, open demo accounts, then we can talk about doing a paid mentorship program. But that's in the future for all you those ready. But for everyone else that's taking advantage of this free mentorship, just make sure that you're watching the trainings because everything I'm showing you, it works. That's why I'm doing this for you all. It works. So one of the main things, if you missed last week's training, just understand that everyone, no matter if you're new, old, beginner, don't know anything about Forex, we all utilize tradingview.com to analyze our charts. So keep it very simple. My whole thing for this, keep it very simple. So we utilize tradingview.com for my new people to analyze everything. So when you're over here, you can create a free account. So once you create your free account, all you got to do is going to look similar to this. I think your background might be might be a little brighter. That's all. Might be on white, but I prefer a dark theme. So that's why I might have clicked on dark theme. So when you're over here, it's going to look similar to this. What you want to do is click on where it says chart, because now I want to show you the actual strategy, because I promise you all the strategy video while I'm just talking strictly about the strategy. So. When you're on here, you click on charts, you come over here, up here at the top, you see this pair here that says GBP, JPY. Click on that and say, for instance, I want to do GBP, JPY. I'm just typing it in and you see how it pops up. And I normally go to this one here that says Olanda because of the broker that I use. I don't use this particular broker, but the broker that I use, their, um, their price points are very similar to this one. So I, this is the one that I always choose. So now I click on it here now. I got the pair I want. Now, with this particular strategy, do not overcomplicate this strategy. It is the most simplest strategy ever. So do not overcomplicate it. Don't start adding your own thing to it. Just keep it nice and simple. And I promise you, this strategy is going to work for you. So one of the first things you do in this strategy is called the above below. I did not create it. No, I got this from my seven-figure mentor, and he got it from his. So what are we doing? We're just passing information along. Each one, teach one, learn, do, teach. That is how you're going to learn this. So we're going to keep it nice and simple. And if a millionaire showed me, right, and then now I'm showing you, you don't want to deviate away from it. You just want to keep it nice and simple because it works. So one of the first things you want to do, you have your pair. It says GBP, JPY. Up here at the top, you see it says on my screen, five minutes, 15 minutes. This M stands for minutes. One hour, that's the H. Four hour, daily, weekly, monthly. Right. So what you want to go to is the hour where it says one H. This strategy, this strategy is a market execution strategy only. What does that mean? That means that you are always hitting market execution on this strategy. Now, we do have pending order strategies, but I want to keep it simple with you all. But maybe later on down the line, I'll show you again one the pending order strategy. But this one alone is market execution. So you're looking at this. Want to make sure you have this one hour, make sure it's highlighted in blue. Next thing we want to do, actually, as well, you make it even more simple for you all. I'm going to type the steps up here. So step one, all right, step one. I'm going to make it a little bigger and actually make that white. Maybe to stand up for you all. Nope, keep it bold. I want to make it a little bigger for you all. Boom. So step one, you're going to choose a pair, all right? Choose a pair. We done that. What we did was show GBP, JPY. Now we're going to go to step two. Nice and simple. Step two, we're going to make sure we're on the one hour time frame. Step three. 
of where I'm going to show you this. Step three, we're going to find the highest point, to find the highest and lowest points on our chart. So we're going to find the highest and lowest point. Don't worry, I'm going to show you. Lowest point on our chart. All right. Step four. So simple. Step four, next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a fib. Let me make sure I spell it right. If I can get my spelling right. Draw a fib retrace. Retracement line, right? The good thing about this when you're trading, trading, you don't have to know how to read. You don't have to know how to read and split. It's like you don't have to know how to spell anything, right? You don't have to know how to do that. You don't have to know how to even count, right? As long as you can do this simple step here, you'll be good. So you're gonna draw draw a fit retracement. Okay, it's probably spelled wrong, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. All right. Step five, you're gonna place a horizontal line on each of the fib lines. Don't worry, I'm about to show you. All right, step six, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for a candle to close, I'm gonna show you, above or below our horizontal line. Step seven, we go for 30 pips. So we always, always set your stop loss. Why? Because that keeps you from blowing your account and your take profit. Why? Because we don't want the trade just going forever and not ever stopping. We want it to, you know, hit our profit and then go about our day. All right, that's it. There's your seven steps. So we're gonna keep that up here. So you all can see it, but I don't want it in my way as well. Let's move it right there. Move these candlesticks back some. Because I want to break this down where well, you can watch this video over and over again and you had a concept of it. That's the whole thing. I want you to have a concept of it. Let me put a background on it so it can stand. There we go. Now you all should be able to see that a little clearly now. All right, so we're going to start off with step one. Step one said choose a pair. What did we do? We chose GBP, JPY. Now there are a ton of different pairs to, to, to trade. So you want to know, hey, which trade should I, which pair should I trade? Totally up to you. Go back over to the trading website and decide on some pairs that you want to trade. Step two, you want to go to your one hour time frame. Boom, right here it says one hour. Step three, I want to now find the highest and lowest points on my chart. So what I'm going to do is come over to the left hand side. I'm going to find a horizontal line. See this? That's all I'm doing. Left hand side. See all these different tools over here? Maybe that's why I said get familiar with trading view. I'm picking right here the one that says trend line tools, clicking on that, coming down to where it says horizontal line. Boom. So now I want to put a horizontal line on my highest point. Why is this my highest point? Because nothing else on this chart is higher than here. Now, note when you're utilizing a strategy, my chart's going to look different from yours. That's the beauty of this. No two people had exact same coordinates. Why? Because I'm seeing something different. So when I'm looking at this, when I say the highest point, it's whatever you see in your screen. Whatever you see in your screen. Now I'm going to choose the lowest point. Lowest point, I'm going to choose, think here. This is the lowest point because nothing else is lower than this particular line. Next, all you want to do is come over here to the left-hand side. Because our next point was a draw fit retracement. Left hand side, come down here to where it says it's G A N N and Fibonacci tools. So, what is a fib? What is a fib retracement? Remember, I'm not here to detail it for you all. I'm here to give you, get you to, to make some money. So, if you want to know the details on what a fib retracement is, what exactly it does, make sure in those extra tools that I gave you on the website, go over to that website on there and it'll explain it to you. Just type in what you're looking for and it's going to explain it to you. All right, we're going to come down here to where it says fib retracement. See that fib retracement? Click here. What I want to do is take it from this top line, the top line that we drew, down to the bottom line. That's all. And I want to stretch it out. Because remember, I'm going to have to draw some lines. So I want to stretch it out so it gets to that bottom line. Boom. All right, also as well, I want to make sure, because I use different settings sometimes. So I want to make sure that it's on the one that I want, which is my above, below. Boom, there we go. I want to change, I want my labels to be on the right side. All right, there we go. Now we're clicking. So now you saw me draw it from top to bottom. And all I'm waiting for, 
all I'm waiting for, oh, nope, let's like skip a line. That's why we got these steps over here, right? Because sometimes I can speed ahead, so we got the steps. So we drew our field retracement, make sure we stay on track, boom, drew it from top to bottom. Next, we're gonna do is place a horizontal line on each of the fib lines. So I wanna come back over here, remember this left-hand side, this whole toolbar, I wanna click, boom, I wanna find me a horizontal line. And now I want to click on each and last one of these lines. So boom, I'm gonna click on this green line. I'm gonna grab another horizontal line as well. Another horizontal line, oh, there's my alert just went off. Then I wanna grab another one. All right, and all I'm doing is placing on each and last one of these horizontal lines, all right? Boom. That's it. That's all I'm doing. We're not going to overcomplicate this. I'm not going to overcook. I just say overcook the grits. I'm not going to do that. Well, if you eat grits, you might be for somewhere else. Boom. So all I did was draw a horizontal line on each and last one of my fib lines. Now, these fib lines are serving as my support and resistance. What is that? It's a floor and ceiling. It's just so many different terminologies for it. But remember, all the terminology is on the website. So now that I've done that, I've done step five. See this, step five, let's move it up. Step five, place horizontal line on each of the fib lines. Now, step six says, wait for a candle to close above or below our horizontal line. So what you wanna look for, because what horizontal line am I talking about? Wherever this current candlestick is stuck in between. If you're new, candlesticks are these red and green, green things, they call it candlesticks. And we wanna see where are the candlesticks stuck in between? What are they stuck at? They're stuck right in between here. So what is it that I wanna do now? I wanna wait for a candle to close above or below it. So this is the above, this top line, this here is my below line. It's always above and below. So when you're looking on here, if it closes above, so if a candle, let's see if I can draw something for you all. Make it a little simple for you. So if I had this safe fence, there's a candlestick right here, right? And this candlestick happened to be blue. Cause you want it to be blue. Let's make that a make it a darker blue. Well, we're gonna make it green. I'm sorry, because it's green for you all on the screen. Let's make it green. Boom. So let's say we had a candlestick right here. All right. And what happened? This candlestick, hypothetically, this candlestick, boom, you see it right here? This candlestick now has closed above. All right. That means that it looked just like this, or it might be higher, but whatever the case is, it is green and it is above this line. Not sitting on the line, not right below the line, but above this line it looks similar to this when it when the next when this next candlestick opens and how do we know when the next candlestick opens when you look up here to the right hand side you see this countdown 57 dot dot three one three and it's three twenty nine countdown there's 57 minutes left on this candle because remember we chose the hour time frame so each one of these candlesticks represent an hour so the next candle isn't going to form for another 57 minutes so that's where the patience game comes into play because Trading is all about patience, consistency, and disciplines. If you can follow those three rules, you will succeed in here. But a lot of people tend to fall short on that patient part, on that discipline part. And that's what we're going to learn here. So I'm glad that you all are actually paying attention. So it's the above line, below line. We find a candlestick that turned green and it went above this line. Boom, we get into the trade for a market execution. What happens after you get into the trade? Next, you need to set your take profit and stop loss. How do you do that? For one, for my analytical people, you want to know how to calculate it. That's on the website. Remember, I do the technicalities here. I keep it nice and simple. But here's what I like to do. So back over here to these tools. All I'm going to do is come over here, right? And I want to find a certain tool right here. So anytime in the market where you're doing, you know, stocks, y'all have heard of this. If you trade stocks, when you're going long, you're buying something. When you're shorting, you're selling something. So all I'm gonna do, because remember, the above is a buy. If it goes below this line, it's a sell. So say hypothetically, we got into this, right? And it went up, green candlestick was above, and now it's a buy. Now I wanna set my take profit and my stop loss because step seven says, always set your stop loss and your take profit. So all I'm gonna do since the buy position is click on where it says long. All I'm at is over here, left-hand side. Click on these, this little tool here, which says prediction and measurement tools. Click on that, click on long position. Boom, I wanna click here. And what I wanna change to the settings. See up here at the top, there's a little spinning wheel. Click on that, 
And all you wanna change on here is your entry price. So when you go back over to the MetaTrader 4, whatever it is that you got into your trade at, you put that number here and you wanna change your profit level, which is your what? Your stop loss. Stop loss, I want you all just to set it as beginners to 300. That's, 300, that's 30 pips. Set your stop loss as well to 300. That simply stands for 30 pips. And all you're gonna do now is copy this profit level, this number here, this price into your MetaTrader 4 and your stop level, which is your stop loss, this number here into your MetaTrader 4. That's it. And now you let the trade do what it's gonna do. Next, let's say for instance, say for instance, it decided not to close up there. Cause remember we're being patient and we're waiting to make sure it makes the move above or below our line. Now for the below line, what we're looking for is for it, a candle to turn red, All right? We want it to turn red and we want it to close below. It might look similar to this. It might be shorter, whatever it is, but you want to make sure that candle is a little thick below this line. So we don't want it on the line. We don't want it before the line. We want it right below this line. So what happens after it closes below this line and how much time we have left for a new candlestick to close? Remember over here to the right-hand side, 54 minutes. So patience, 54 minutes. So if it closed below this line, what we would do, get in for a market execution, sell. So now what we need to do if we got in for a sale, we need to set our what? Stop loss and take profit. Are we gonna do it? Come on to the left-hand side, look for our certain tools over here where it says prediction and measurement tools. Now remember what I said, long is buy, short is sell. So you click on short position and you're gonna click on all here and you wanna change your settings. Remember, you wanna change your entry price to whatever that number is on your MetaTrader 4. You wanna come down here as beginners until you actually learn how to analyze the market. We're gonna keep it very simple. Your profit level, 300 ticks, AKA 30 pips. Could I hear stop level, 300 ticks, AKA 30 pips. Nice and simple. And then you wanna change your price or your take profit to this number, your stop loss to this number. And then you're done. You're done. You go about your day. Your trade is either going to close in a negative or it's going to close in a positive. Either way, it's done. Now, every strategy does not work every single time. So if you lose this trade, you might win the next five. Who knows? Because we can't properly predict the market. All we can do is do our analysis and just, you know, be confident in our trade, right? Be confident. So remember the three rules are you need to be disciplined, you need to be consistent, and you also always, always need to be patient. This strategy is gonna teach you patience. That's why I'm starting you off with this strategy. So that is it. So make sure you hit rewind, hit pause, and go right along how side I told you to do this particular strategy. This strategy is called the above, below, and it works. Not gonna work every single time, but it does work. So I want you all to stay disciplined, consistent, and patient, and you're gonna win at this. Have questions, let me know, and I would love to see pictures of your screenshots with this strategy set up on your trading view. Make sure you post inside the group for me so I can see that you all actually taking advantage of this training. And that is all for today. Um, I will let you all know when the next training is for this week as far as the live training. So you can come on and ask me questions as well. So have a blessed, prosperous, and wonderful week. And everyone that's inside this group, I already know you're about to do some serious winning. So I'll talk to you all on the next training.